so you want to live stream to Facebook and YouTube and Twitch and LinkedIn and other social platforms at the same time. We now have the ability to do simulcasting, which means we can stream to multiple locations at once. And it's as easy as finding the perfect third party platform to live stream through. Now, there are a couple of different options, and I recommend Restream or BeLive. I will have full tutorials on these down below so you can decide which is going to be the best platform for you. But let me show you how to do it inside of the system. Here's a hint, it only takes a couple of clicks. It is so easy to do, especially once you've connected your social platform. It is incredibly easy to live stream to all the platforms at once. Now it is worth noting that not all social platforms allow this type of access. So right now you cannot use a program outside of TikTok or Instagram to live stream on TikTok or Instagram. But the rest of the platforms do allow you to use that stream key. And even if it's not connected to the platform that you are using, you have the ability to now input those stream keys in. So as long as you can get that stream key, you can add it to one of these platforms and go live anywhere, including what they give you and things that they don't give you. So let's take a look at how to do this inside of the platforms. Now the first one we're going to look at is BeLive, and BeLive is fantastic because all you have to do is click on Set Destination. It is so easy and they give you all the options here. So these are the ones that you have options to use inside of BeLive. You can use YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, or you can add in that custom stream key. They also let you record offline, which is amazing, and you can test your broadcast. So all you're going to do is click on the first one that you want to connect to it. And if this is not the one that you want, all you have to do is click on that. You can sign out and sign into a different YouTube account. So you do not have to only use one. I have multiple YouTube accounts. I live stream on all of them and I just swap them out. You just sign in and sign out. Now, once you have linked up the first one that you want, you're just going to click on the little plus button and then you're going to be able to link up whatever other accounts you're going to want to use. So you can live stream on Facebook, on your timeline, on pages that you own or in groups that you own and you will be good to go for that. So I'm just going to click on that one and then we can go ahead and type in our title, our description. If we want to schedule it, we can, but it's as simple as simulcasting right there by using those buttons. So now we're gonna go over to Restream, and inside of Restream, it is equally as easy. You're gonna go over to the top where you've got your, your episode that you were going to be setting up. You're gonna plug in your title, you're gonna plug in your description. You can list the content type, which does not go for all of the platforms. This only works on some of the platforms, but please feel free to set whatever you need for that. And then you're gonna click the next button. Once you click the next button, you have all of the destinations that you've already connected to your platform, or you can add that destination. All you have to do is toggle it on and off. You have the ability to toggle them all off and then just add in what you need to. And you then have the ability to add in other destinations as well. You have a lot of options from Twitch to Periscope to LinkedIn. Uh, choose some of the lesser known ones and of course you can add in that custom stream key as well so that you're ready to go with that. Now once you are done with all of that you are going to go ahead and click that close button and then you're just going to have to click go live. Now if you are scheduling on restream you are going to go back into your studio where you do have the ability to access those upcoming episodes and just click on enter the studio it'll take you right in there. For BeLive, if you have something scheduled, you are going to go ahead and be able to... Oh, it is scheduling that, which I didn't mean for it to do, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and we are going to schedule that right there, and then it would be right in that, and you'll be good to go. Now remember, simulcasting is meant to be able to deliver content to your different viewers in the way that they want to have access to you. You are going to be reaching different audiences at the same time. You're gonna be able to get their comments and their interactions, which is amazing, but keep in mind it is going to split your audience. So people are going to either go to your Facebook or your YouTube, which kind of cuts your numbers on both platforms. So if your goal is to build up one platform or the other through your live streaming, you may want to drive everyone to your YouTube page or you may want to drive everyone to your Facebook page. This is going to cut down on those numbers, but in the long run, you have to decide if you want to reach a bigger audience in the way that they want to be reached or if you want to build up one platform at a time. So there's going to be different opportunities and different chances for you to be using these both ways. I myself do live stream 
both to one platform on a single capacity and simulcast to multiple platforms at the same time to make sure I'm reaching my audience in the way that I need to be reaching them. So it's going to come down to what you need for each individual platform and each individual stream that you are going to be doing. Let me know down in the comments below, do you simulcast right now and which do you feel is easier? Do you feel BeLive is easier? Do you think Restream is easier? Which one are you going to try? The good news is I have free extended trials of both of these platforms linked for you down below and discount codes if you want access to those down in the caption and full tutorials on each of these platforms to see which is going to be the best fit for you. And if you want an upcoming video all about the differences and the similarities so that you really can, with a checklist back and forth, pick which is going to be the best fit for your business, let me know in the comments below because I am working on an episode of that that I want your input for that. So if that's something that you're interested in, I will spend more time on it. If it's not, maybe we'll work on something else. So let me know in the comments below, hit the subscribe and notification bell, and we will continue to help you build up your live streaming abilities right here on Livestream Action Plan. I will see you in the next episode.